What's up guys and welcome to another video. We're making a guide on Sir Ket, this video on Frag Punt, of course. So let's get right into the training range. If you guys do like this video, you can always leave a like on it. If you guys are not subscribed already, you can hit that subscribe button as well and turn on bell notification icon. It will truly help me out, you guys viewing and supporting me. So let's get right into the video. Hope you do enjoy. Let's get right into our abilities. Station to station is our first ability. Places a controllable beacon and within a limited time, click the left button to teleport to the beacon's location. So what that looks like, it's like this. And you're in that beacon as well. So if they kill that beacon that you just placed down and you use the teleport from, they can instantly kill you basically. I'm pretty sure that's how that works. I've done it before to someone else. So yeah, you can use this ability to basically go anywhere around the map. They can't see you. They can only see the beacon on the ground while you're in this teleport. So say if you use it right here and you're going near these enemies, which they turn to tor tornado form if you see them and they can see your beacon running around. So do not teleport in front of them. You will get owned. But yeah, this ability is basically get out a danger card and or just like relocate back into your team's base or something like that or around a corner. Her second ability is Gold Dust Woman, which is a tornado and it blinds enemies. Blinds enemies as in you just can't see. So you go in front of this, you literally hard to see and it will slow them down as well if they go near it at all. So it's a really good ability for pushing in. And yeah, you can push in like this. You can place it and then push in with a tornado while you're behind a tornado. So it's very useful. And last ability is Dilemma, throwable jet gadget that drags enemies in range towards it. So this is mainly a, if someone's camping around the corner. So, so say this bot, for example, say how he's camping behind this structure. So say if the structure is bigger and I couldn't see him, but I knew he was behind there, I could throw it right here next to it. And then they will get pulled in very heavily. Teammates won't get pulled into this, but only enemies, so as you can see, pulled in very heavily. And that's basically all that does. It just, you know, pulls them into this little tornado, tornado vortex wormhole thing. And it's very hard to get out of on the enemy team. So. Yeah, it's easier to shoot them and you can also send a tornado down first and then send this if you want so they can't see the gadget getting thrown at them they only see the tornado and then they'll get pulled in then you can just light them up in the middle other than that there's not that many combos and uh yeah let's get right into the gameplay hope you guys do enjoy you can send tornadoes through walls as well i almost forgot to say in the training range very useful i don't know if there's an enemy over here so i'm gonna place this here just in case there's definitely enemies down there, so. Got one. Big peek them. I just got close. That was a zombie. Oh, there was another player. Couldn't get him. He was too, too much B hopping. And then the tornado was kind of sucking him in, so you gotta be careful about that. We'll actually watch the replay of that. As you can see, I'm shooting him, shooting him, and then he's getting kind of sucked in from the tornado on the ground. Or not the tornado, but the little hole in the ground that I put from the, like, desert sucking or whatever you want to call it. Got him both. Nice. So right there, I just followed my bot. That's just, like, any other character. You just follow the bot, you run basically behind the bot, and they only think the bot's there, and he's... He was so focused on killing the bot, he didn't know I was behind it. A little tornado. Oh. We do have slide as well. Tornado kind of distracted him. I uh, can't push really. I would slow close because I don't actually know where the guy is though, so I'm not going to slow close. I'm going to throw a tornado through and then I'm going to use my teleporting ability. Don't see him. I see him right here. There we go. Okay, he's going to do that. A little tornado man. There's fog, so it's gonna be easier to push this. Do a little teleport, look around corners, see if there's any enemies. Don't see anybody. I'm just gonna go all the way back in their spawn. Guy right here. I don't think he'll know. Doesn't know. Also, while you're in the fog, you can have your TP up, so basically you able to see people way easier so it's a little trick with this guy right there at least there's a fog card played which is really nice oh he's over here Whoa. 
Someone CP behind us. They're gonna be near B. No one's holding mid for B. Mid already. Do not resist. One's here. One's in mid. Got one. Where's bomb mid? Running, 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 running. They're pushing. There's my Sam store in here. Look out for the enemy. They're both here. Two here. Us two. I got them both there, just played patient. It wasn't really using my abilities, I used them all. But I wanted to use my teleport to go over there, try to spot them out, make sure they're still over there so one's not flanking. And then this guy was trying to get a trade on me, but unluckily he failed. 17 HP still alive, clutched it up real quick. I'm trying to fight mid here. One's mid, one's trying to push mid, two trying to push mid. Got one, another one here. I'm throw my slow. I should get out of here since I'm exposed. I'm gonna try to get out of here. Reload my gun. I am low HP as well. Not low, low, but pretty low. I can always throw a slow far. And there we go. Help my team out there. I usually throw slows far away, like over here in this direction, just because of my teammates getting pushed on that other site. I like to throw a slow over there just in case he's over there and it'll mess him up. But luckily he was still in mid, so that was an easy kill for us to get. And then I kept throwing tornadoes and of course using my teleportation to get away when I am vulnerable and being spotted and everything like that. So you want to use her kit very defensively, basically what I'm trying to say. Like I say, you can use it offensively like the tornadoes, but everything else is very defensive. There we go. So right there, I faked them out. I ran over there to the bomb site. And this was with any character. So I faked them out, ran over to the bomb site, made them think I was going to. I think that's a B over there. And then I went through the teleporter real quick planted the bomb on the opposite site and then, so i knew he's going to be pushing the spawn and that was an easy kill for me just to walk up over there you would think i would use my ability there to look out for him but that would make too much noise when i use the ability and everything like that it'll take too long and i don't know where else he's going to come from i just had a hunch feeling that he was going to be coming through spawn like that let's guy try to push up quick My teleport ability. I think someone's to the right. Nice, we got him. One enemy still standing. Oh, my team out there. He's one bullet. Thank you. Guy just does not want to die. So obviously missed a ton of shots, but he just doesn't want to die. I don't know. He has a thousand HP, but basically I just threw all my abilities at him threw my little slow. He's kind of stuck in a corner. And usually when someone isn't that slow, they want to be hop like a monkey. So you got to be careful of that and try to track them very hard. But other than that, 
use my tornadoes to my advantage, use my tornado to tornado that one guy, and then I jump back and try to shoot the other guy that was on my teammate, and then I jump back and try to help my teammate again with the other guy. So it was pretty easy. So that was my circuit guide. I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you can always leave a like. It does help me out a ton. And also hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell notification icon to always get notified when I do upload a brand new video for Fragpunk in, a, in any other game. And yeah, Sirket, very fun character. Use those tornadoes wisely and also use that teleportation and that slow wisely as well. And she can be very powerful. So yeah, have a great day and or night guys and peace.